Okay, this is the hammock stand I bought from Northern Tool, and I think it's done really well for me. I've had it for the past few months here, going through spring and early spring and into summer, and it's held up well. It's been out here in the weather, and I've checked it over, and I don't see any kind of cracks in the paint or chips that rusted through or anything like that. It's all just held up really well. Looks like a good quality coating and paint job to me. You can see it's got some nice support bars here and then it has some weld on bars here at the curve. And you know, if you check out these paint that's over these welds, it looks like it's been painted really well. I don't see any kind of like, this is some dirt there, but I don't see any kind of cracks or anything in the weld or uh, cracking the paint, exposing some of the weld or anything like that. It looks really good. Um, I would say that these little uh, pads here, these legs that are on the rail, you want to make sure that they're slid in position. You know, you want them like kind of close to the end here. I, I put them right where that bar is. Same over there and then the same for the others. And you want to keep them evenly spaced. Because uh, I did have a problem where um, you know, I wasn't paying attention and the wind had moved this around and I just dragged it back in position and these two had slid way up, that one and that one. Then when I got in the hammock, it, it probably wouldn't have been a problem, but I scooted kind of, um, you know, was scooting up on the hammock and I noticed the hammock started like rocking. And I thought, wow, you know, I didn't notice that before. So then I looked down here and I saw that these legs had, or sorry, these pads here, these little feet had slid forward. So you want them evenly spaced and that really helps stabilize it as far as rocking. Cause you know, you've got that turn curve right here and you don't want it to be sitting on this curve. So that really helps stabilize it. It's just a little pad there, but it really makes a difference in helping it out. So I just want to point that out. But other than that, it's been a great stand. I've got my hammock on it, which I also got from Sunny Days. And you can see the rope goes over top of this support bar right here. And it works really good. It's nice and smooth going over the rope so it doesn't cut into the rope or anything. And it goes down to this other support bar and you've got a nice sturdy hook there. And I just keep four links at the end of this chain and that seems to be about the right tension for this hammock. And works really great so I am very satisfied with this hammock stand and so I highly recommend this product 